If you're attempting to share an Ableton Live project with a friend or coworker and you can't seem to get all the files, I'm gonna tell you why that is and how to fix that. Sharing an Ableton Live project should be easy and intuitive, but there's a couple steps we have to take to make sure we're doing everything right. When we save an Ableton project and we open it, all of the files and everything that's within that project, Ableton is just recalling from their initial location. That way, say if we have a kick drum and it's used several times in the project, we don't necessarily have to keep duplicating that kick and having all those different WAV files on our computer. In order to save the space, what Ableton does is it makes a map and allows you to recall where those kick files are on your computer without duplicating them. The problem this causes is that if you're gonna go share an Ableton Live project and you send it to someone, the original files are actually not gonna be in that project file. To fix this, all we have to do is go to File, Collect All and Save, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna collect all of the samples from outside of the project and save a copy of them within the project. That way, when the other party gets the project, everything's gonna be ready for them and they're gonna be able to access all the files. So for a quick example, let's say theoretically, this is a project that we wanted to share and collab with somebody on. So the way we would do this is we would go to Command S to save. We're gonna save this as a different project folder than the current one we have. We don't necessarily have to do this, but this gives us an index of which one has all the files in it. So I'm gonna save this as collab project. And we're gonna save it on desktop. Collect all and save. So when you select collect all and save, it gives you these options, specify which used media files are to be copied onto this project um, from elsewhere, from other pro Ableton projects, from user library, from factory packs. Just go ahead and check all these just to be safe. It's not gonna hurt. And then we're gonna hit okay. So what this is doing is this is now copying these samples into our project folder. So to kind of summarize how our project folder works because Ableton makes this kind of difficult, we have our project folder here. And I don't know why it does this, but for some reason it tries to save all of your projects in one project folder, which makes no sense. Basically the hierarchy and how this works is you have your project folder and then this folder contains all the different Ableton Live sets or different versions of your track. So if we click this open, we have collab project and theoretically if we had like version two or version three, they would also be in here showing as .als. And then we have different folders for the presets. So any presets used in this uh, project the samples, so if we click on this, imported, we now have our two samples here. And then we have the project info and a copy of a backup. So at this point, because we collected all and saved, now all of the samples that we use in this project are now saved into this project folder. So before they were just recalling them from different sections on your desktop, now they're actually in this folder. So now we can come here and we can actually just right click this and compress it, save a little space. And now we can share this file and we can rest assured that all of the samples are living in this project folder. Hope that helped you guys. I hope now I saved your collabs and you can go and make that banger with your homie you've been waiting on and I will see you guys next time.